and welcome to this week's video where we'll be looking at compound percentages uh, this was a viewer request um, it's going to be looking at appreciation and depreciation and I'm specifically making it COP26 themed so it's in relation to a lot of environmental issues which are being discussed this week in Glasgow so it's on, well, this is today the 31st of October 2021 so it's the start of COP26 so I'm going to show you over here this is the formula that we're going to use. So as I say, this is where you can copy down this formula here. So this gives, this is the formula that you can use for compound percentages. And what I've composed underneath as well is the list of words that you're going to hear when you've got to do a subtraction. So when it's 100, take away the percent. These are the sort of words you'll hear. It'll be decrease, reduce, shrink, decline, drop, fall, down, less, Obviously, it's not exhaustive. It's possible that there could be more. When it's an adding one, you're going to hear increase, rise, grow, enlarge, up, extra, or more. And these are good terms to bear in mind for reverse percentages, which I'll also have the link to in the next in this video. So we'll start here with our first example. So it says the burning of fossil fuels produces 35 billion tons of CO2 per annum. That's per year. If this is set to reduce by 11.4% per annum, how much CO2 will be released in 2024? So we just use that formula. So we write the initial amount down first of all, which I'm just going to say 35. We times it by 100 plus or minus the percent over 100. So we've got 100 plus or minus, and the percent is 11.4. And we write that over 100. And the power is the number of years. So the number of years, if we're in 2021, and this is in 2024, that's three years time. So that's got a power of three there. And what we said was, we have to consider these here if we want to know if it's an add-in or a subtraction. Well, this one, it says reduce. So reduce is a subtraction. So you can literally put that into your calculator, 35, times 100 minus 11.4 over 100 to the power of 3. And the answer that we get is 24.34. Now, what often happens in these questions, so this, as I say, is very much an exam style question, as is all the other ones. It will quite often say, give your answer to three significant figures. So what you would do with that is we just round it. So it'd be 24.3 billion tonnes. And that really is the final answer there. I'm going to do another example. So in this question, we're told, now this might not be based on entirely accurate figures, but there are 600,000 vegans in the UK this is set to rise by 5% per annum, how many vegans will there be in 2026? So again, we just use the formula. We write the initial amount, which is 600,000. We multiply it by, and um, we've got 100 plus or minus the percent, which is 5, over 100. And then it has to go to the power of the number of years. So if we're in 2021 just now, and we're talking about 2026, that's five years. So that's a five there. And it says it's set to rise. So rise is in the add-in one. That means it's going to increase. So it's just a plus there. So when we put that into the calculator, we get 765. 769. So 765,769. But as a typical example of an exam question will do, we're asked to answer this to three significant figures. So what we do is it's just basically the first three digits with the rest zeros, bearing in mind we have to do any rounding if necessary. So it's actually 766,000 is our final answer. We're going to do another example. 
this example, we're told that the cost of fruit and veg imported to the UK in 2019 was said to be worth £11.5 billion. Pounds. If this is set to fall by 7% per annum, how much will it be worth in 2023? So again, we just use the formula. So we write down our initial amount first of all. So I'm just going to write down 11.5 and then multiply on the right 100 plus or minus the percent, which is 7, over 100. And then the power is the number of years. So if what's different with this one is we're basing it on 2019. So if we're in 2019 and we're thinking about 2023, well, that's four years away. And it says it's set to fall, so fall would be a subtraction. So we'd make that a minus. As I said before, you can usually type that in in one go in a Casio calculator. Some people might prefer to do work out this part first and then write the calculation out. But it's fine to do it either way. So when we put that into the calculator, we get 9.94635. And if we want to round that to three significant figures, because as we said, that's quite often what you'll be asked in a question. So to round it to three significant figures, it would be 9.95, and that would be billion pounds. Okay, I'm going to do one more example. So in this example here, we're told that the UK recycles 380,000 tonnes of plastic bottles per year. If this figure is set to grow by 8.5% per annum, how many bottles will be recycled in 2025? So again, we're just using the same formula as usual. So the initial amount is 380,000. We multiply it by, and then we have 100 plus or minus the percent over 100. And the number of years, well, if we're currently in 2021, to get to 2025 is four years. So the power is going to be four. The percent is 8.5. And because it's grow, grow is an add in one. So it's a plus. So it's 100 plus 8.5. So again, you can just put that into the calculator like that. Or you can work out this part if you prefer. And the answer we get is like that. It's 526,626 plastic bottles. But we're asked, as per a normal exam question, is to give your answer to three significant figures. So we would just round that up to 527,000. So 527,000 plastic bottles. Now, I hope this has been helpful. As I've advised, I've kind of made it COP26 themed, things that might be, the sort of things that we would consider, maybe environmental changes, such as people becoming vegan or trying to reduce the amount of plastic or increase the amount of plastic that's recycled. So this is kind of why I've done it this way. Uh, please feel free to suggest any other maths videos you'd like to see or if there's maybe certain themes that you would like to see it, it demonstrated through. And as usual, like and subscribe. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.